Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today's video is number two in my little web series on how to apply for a scholarship in China or for China. Yay! In today's video, we are going to talk about how to choose the city you want to go to and the university you want to study at. Don't worry guys, I got your bag. So without further ado, let's get started on this little video. There are a few things that I think is really important to consider when you're choosing a city in China. I'm going to ask you a few questions you should consider before choosing the city and the university you want to go to. And then I'm going to tell you my own story about how I chose my university is the one I've been studying at here in China. The first question I want to ask you is do you like the hot weather or do you like the cold weather? Because China is huge and there are very different temperatures here. If you go up north it's cold as the Russian Siberian winter. If you go south it's like Vietnam. It's freaking hot and humid all the freaking time. One really important question you should ask yourself. I didn't think about this the first time I came to China. China, so I thought, oh, I want to go south because I heard it's nice and warm all the time. Yeah, I didn't know about humidity before I arrived in that city in South China and I had to stay there for half a year and I was so freaking sweaty all the time. Not cool, Ling Ling, not cool. <laughs> so that's one really important thing for you to consider. I also stayed in Northern China where it was way too cold for me. Oh my God, the winter was so freaking cold, like minus 25, 30 degrees. You couldn't go outside and you felt like if you cried one tear, it would freeze onto your cheek. I know, insane. So consider this before you're choosing a university. The second question I want to ask you is what kind of food do you like to eat? It's not like if you go to one city in China, you cannot, you can only eat the food from that place. But in China, if you Google this, you will see a big map of China and the different provinces where it has different spices and tastes. So basically, if I chose to go to Hunan to study, I would always have to eat spicy food. It would be difficult for me to find common food that wasn't spicy. I hate spicy food. I would be so hungry all the time. I would have a stomach ache all the time. I would just not be able to work. <laughs> so definitely consider this if you're going to, if you don't like, if you can't take spicy, don't go to Sichuan or Hunan. It, as I said, it's not like there is nothing that's not spicy. The thing is just that most is really spicy. So it would be annoying. You have to think about this all the time, every time you're eating something or like you're ordering stuff in the in the restaurant. So another good question to ask yourself. The third question is how international do you want your university and your city to be? In China there are a lot of different options because some cities are really big so there of course will be more foreigners whereas in other places uh, there won't be that many. In some cities there are many Koreans, many Russians, some places many Westerners, some places there are a lot of Africans. So consider what are you more looking for in a friendship community because what I did before I chose a smaller city with more Korean students instead of Western students which meant that I didn't really make many friends there but it was easier for me to learn Chinese and I actually think that's one of the reasons why I'm more fluent today because I spend more time on my studies and not so much time on partying with foreign friends and speaking English. A lot of Koreans have difficulty speaking English so it was very easy for me not to make friends there and just do my own thing. Question number four I want to ask you is how much money do you have? Yeah don't tell me you don't have to write it down below. I'm just saying it's a really good idea to consider the prices of the living in the city before you're going there. So of course if you choose a place like Beijing or Shanghai it's going to be more expensive whereas if you go south to Guizhou or or Guangxi or Yunnan, it's gonna be much cheaper. Also, if you look at the first tier cities versus the second tier or third tier, there's gonna be a big difference in the prices for living there. So consider this before I chose a cheaper city because then I could travel more, I could save money for travels. This one probably should have been number one. It's not so important for me uh, personally, I'll, show, I'll tell you afterwards why, but you should also consider the quality of the university, you know, what do you get out of it? Like, are you there to learn Chinese? Are you there to have a cultural experience? Are you there for an adventure? Are you there to like get 
just to get a degree. I don't know, but you should consider this because there is a huge difference between the best universities in China and just the lower ranked universities. I'm not saying they're bad, bad. I'm just saying there is a big difference in like education quality and also how much effort they put into helping foreigners getting around and learning and studying. So and let me tell you how I chose the universities that I have been at here in China. The first university, I chose it only on the basis of the fact that I had a Chinese boyfriend who wanted to stay in that city. So I went with him. I chose the less popular one because that one was more was cheaper. And as I said, there were more Korean students. So it was easier for me to focus on my studies and the boyfriend instead of like making too many friends. The second university I chose was because Denmark had a, the Danish university I was at before had a cooperation with the Chinese one. I was not super excited about it in the beginning because I wanted to go to a smaller city and this one was the Renmin University in Beijing which is like one of the biggest ones. But in the end I went anyways and I loved the university especially because there was a subway station nearby. It was very well located and a lot of the universities are placed like really out in the outskirts of cities of the city so it's hard to get into that's just in Beijing anyway yeah so that was some of the reasons as well why I chose that one and then the third one I've chosen that only on the basis of my own wishes and wantings for a university here in China the first one is the location I love that it's outside of the university area so there are not that many foreigners around it's more Chinese feeling and also it's close to my friends the ones I had before I came to China this time and their companies and I thought if I want to work then it's easy for me to get there because it's like a working area like a business area which is super cool I also like the university because it's small it's also the best one in my field so I study media and journalism and it's the best one in that field here in China so that's a really cool thing too and I also like that the university had an English degree because then I knew that I didn't have to take that many classes and I could so I could also focus on my YouTube and make more videos for you guys and the last thing I also checked if the subway station was close by and it was and I was so excited about that because that's really important for me I do travel a lot so it's very important for me to have the subway station just outside my door so guys that was all for today's video I hope you have written down the questions and you have started considering the different options I hope that you will come to China remember if you need more advice or tips or tricks about how to come to China, applying for China or for Chinese, for China, for Chinese scholarships or school or whatever. You can check out my website, lenaround.com and go to Skype me project. You can get me and we can have a chit chat and I'll help you. And don't worry, you know, I'm here for you. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling Sat. See ya and see you soon. Bye-bye.